All right, so we're back here. We're going to today's project is setting, is putting on a set of aftermarket fiberglass fender flares for an early Bronco. Now we've got these, this one Clico in and our rubber gasket in behind it. I wanted to go through a video and show you how I would put a set of these flares on. We got the fenders off. We were just about ready for prime, uh, paint, but we wanted to mount the fenders before we actually paint them. So. Uh, when we get these, it's coming. We've got these from Tom's Off Road here in Medford, Oregon. We're getting them there packaged up. We open them up. That's the other front one. The rear one is here. You can tell the rear ones have got this little step here for the for the rear quarter panel. Pretty nice product. Not sure who's making these, but get one of them from Tom's. Uh, so there's that. They come with the flares themselves. They came with a bag of rivets, which we're not going to rivet these on because I'm worried about the paint and the pressure it takes to pop a rivet. I'm worried about it digging into the paint. So we are going to run a stainless steel button head Allen bolt with a lock washer on the back. So when you get to these, you'll have our gaskets are in a plastic that uh one roll is enough to do front or rear and then i'll go ahead and show you how to mount the other side here on the fenders i want to start with a just a regular drill with a 1 8 drill bit and that just happens to be the same size as our little plecos are here so the idea is that i would drill the hole and put these in or you can use a bolt and then you know thread it from the back side to hold it in place but i have these i'm going to use these it's going to start our holes and we're going to mount that onto the so we're going to mount these just what i do is i'll come through and drill a hole here these are actually little indentations that were in the in the fiberglass flare to tell you where to drill your holes you might have to trim this down a little bit these ones here look pretty good so it's a little thin at the top so we'll see if we have to trim this down but the other one fit pretty good so we're going to start by taking, uh, setting this on here. I'm going to clamp it in place and drill a hole here and probably a hole here and a hole here and just get the flare onto the fender and holding it on there by itself. Now we're just going to kind of set this on here. It fits kind of loosely and then we'll just kind of flick it over and get it to where we think it's going to fit the fender the best. You don't want to tweak on the fiberglass or the fender real hard. Basically, we just try to figure out where they like to be married. And then, kind of like that. We got a good gap all the way around. So, we'll be using one of these clamps here, which is just a regular wood clamp. We kind of just. Not putting much pressure on it, just enough to hold it. So, what I'm trying to do is make sure I got a nice, good line here. Basically, this is kind of even with the bottom of the fender right there. So, making sure it fits. Not putting a lot of pressure, I just want this to fit as tight as I can get it to the fender without having to try to force it. I think that would be good, about like that right there. Got that thing pretty good as far as setting in there. Got our, it's all clicked together. This is just something that both sides are doing because fiberglass just doesn't fit. There's kind of a body line right here that fades out. Bumped up on that. But for fiberglass, all through here, fits pretty good. Except for we broke it here. Looks like that was actually, okay on this one, no? Yeah, that was an air bubble that cracked, so we'll have to fix that. Here we had drilled through. Our Clico's all up through there. 
front and the back. You can see that this side flares out more and then this kind of goes straight down. So we'll put this flat side up against the fender and then run the bottom of our flare. We'll tuck it right in here real nice and tight or as tight as we can get it along the bottom of this roll. To do that, what I'll do is I'll start on the front here. I'll give myself about a half inch or so uh, past the bottom of this flare because I want to be able to have a little adjustment better to have it too far cut a little off and have it start past the flare and not have enough so what I'll do is I'll take out since this is locked pretty well locked in with our Clicos I'll take I'll take from about here out I'll take these out same thing if you had nuts and bolts pull those out then I can pull this flare out a little bit and then we'll kind of tuck that back in there and then we'll drill some holes through the rubber the reason I do this first is I get this mocked up so I'm not trying to fight three pieces, only two pieces. These, you know, have to be drilled pretty much precise. This, if you had to cheat the hole a little bit here to move this back, no big deal. But just kind of a little little gasket there. So, And if something happened and you had to buy some more of that, it's a lot cheaper than a fender or a cheaper to repair the fender, easier to repair the fiber. Then we'll do is we'll take this here and we'll just kind of tuck it back in here. So, you kind of got to wrestle it a little bit, but I'll walk in there. That'll actually hold that. I usually like to kind of do the, the longer edges first. Okay, we'll scoot that down there a little bit. I'm going to try to get that pushed in there. I'm going to start the very first hole with a alt something sharp and pointy. Our gasket is going to sit pretty flush and flat down on top of that. I'll push this hole through. Okay, I'm going to just kind of line that hole, the rubber, and this alt up. Kind of pushing that, but that way it kind of lines everything up. You could, I could clamp this back in place. Get everything to line up real good. You could actually just kind of keep going. Loosen our top of our fender here a little bit, or flare up a little bit. Pull that out. And then just kind of repeat the process all the way around. Maybe take a few of these out so we can get the top of this. Pull that out I can get a little bit of slack in there and I can, I can work that flare down that corner. We can probably get it about here and just kind of work it slowly surely perfect this is going right in lining right up with the holes in the fingers that's what you want So we got that all clicoed in place, looking pretty good. We'll clean the edge of our fiberglass fender up there with a little 180 sand paper, but we're we can pretty got a little bit left here we can cut off and then same thing down here, we get quite a bit of extra. So if you screw up, you got about three feet of extra material there as far as our gasket. Well, that's pretty much it on that. All right, so we got that pretty well done sitting in there our holes are drilled in our gasket our flare and our fenders basically we'll come back and cut we'll mark probably I'll pull the fender off mark from our holes down about a half an inch three quarters of an inch from our holes downward and we'll come back in here with an air saw we'll trim this part of the fender trim that part of the fender off What I'll do is I'll take my three quarter inch masking tape. I'm gonna run my tape to where I'm catching the upper edge of my tape, basically to the center of my hole. 
do is I'll start here. I'm gonna try to catch the center of my hole on each one of these holes. Saw that's got a pretty small blade. You could probably use a pack saw or something, but I like these because it's a little thinner this way, so I can make my corners a little more precise. These little guys are pretty loud, so I like to wear eye protection. And a good set of earmuffs. Now we're going to take a roll lock disc from a little grinder, this is 36 grit, and just kind of clean this area up a little bit, kind of get it even more rounded out a little bit, I think it looks good, and then come back and sand that edge with something, put some primer on it, and we should just be about ready to go. Take some 180 grit and kind of knock this edge down from our grinder and our blade. Saw blade, sometimes it leaves a little bit of a sharp edge. So basically just doing this and kind of rubbing my hand over it. You never know, you might have this thing already and a little kid grab it or something and could possibly cut themselves. So just kind of something to think about there. But that's pretty much it. Now we're going to send this, do this to cut the other side and then uh, repeat the step in the back there the back fenders on the body and uh, we'll send this thing over to paint. Remember if you like these videos, this type of content, like, like, a subscribe. Remember, you got to create something today, even if it sucks. Peace.